I was driving through the back roads of Pennsylvania on the way to a camping spot and found a mountain of ceramic dishes and teacups in the middle of the woods. Oh, okay, that's far more than I was expecting. Congrats, buddy, on the big find. A rare sighting of an Ikea burial ground. Can't wait for alien archaeologists to dig this up. What ludicrous meaning do you think they'd give these things? Here we see a large collection of human hats. Well, I think when two continents collide over millions of years, the land gets all pushed up. Up, and if you go up in the mountains, you can see evidence of the old plates. A guy comes back from work to find this in his living room. Oh boy, okay, there's a lot of whole jokes to make here. Uh, uh Soviet Russia, China digs to you. Um, not exactly what I mean by bringing the house down. Uh, I don't know what you mean, all I see is your mom. Look, if this was New York City, I think the best answer to this would be to ask yourself, do you live near any synagogues? Knee pad catches small splinter. Yeah, just, <laughs> just a tiny one. I do not know how those gentlemen up there in the background are still confident to go skating right now when they see their mate with this. Doesn't even look like an knee pad now, just looks like a sheath for his dagger. My Venus flytrap uses all its energy to make 200 mouths instead of growing big. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Damn, that's, that's some outsourcing. I think what makes this creepy for me though is to understand that they aren't all individual little mouths and heads like Hydra or something. Those are more like hands. It's growing more hands. One of the unspoken and worst parts of flooding when the coffins rise from the ground. Oh! More important question too, is this why maybe we should encourage people to have cages over their <laughs> burial sites? Maybe give this gig to people who want a zombie apocalypse to happen, because for them this is like a fantasy slightly come true. God sent a bomb in the mail. Uh, wait, literally? Oh, wow! <gasps> Man, this look, I, I clearly don't understand what bombs are meant to look like because I would have totally held this thing, grabbed this thing, and just been like, Hey, what's this dude, Dad? And, oh no. Oh no, I would have died. Clearly, I need to educate myself on what dangerous items look like. That's why I'm going to play more violent action games. The white part of my eye swells today because of my pollen allergy. Oh, don't give us body horror. We don't want that here. <laughs> nah, nah, Merit, no. Nah. Ugh, I can't. Oh, sorry, I'm looking at it again. It looks... Uh, it's just like puffed up like a pastry. It, uh, I feel like it's gonna pop out. <laughs> Found in downtown Fresno, Canada, someone covered a Geo Metro with pennies. Possibly doubled the value of the car. You gotta give him props for that commitment. Oh, look at even at the rims! Bro, that's freaking... That's well done. They clearly didn't bother matching the shade of the pennies with each other, so um, uh, five out of ten. Just imagine how much this would go for sale on Facebook Marketplace. Will you take three pennies? Went in for teeth cleaning last month and mentioned a numb feeling in a tooth. I was shocked to find a tumor eating my jawbone. This photo is my CT scan. Biopsy surgery results were non-cancerous, thankfully. It's been a real what the frick month. Oh my god! That's... That's a hole? Is it? Okay, there's a genuine hole in their jaw. God damn, man. The human body, it's both an incredible fighter for survival, but then also does things like, hey, you know what? I feel like just <laughs> ruining your existence today. Calcium buildup in this water pipe we had to replace. Ah, oh, yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit of calcium buildup. No, no worries. You can, water still goes through it. It's fine. This takes things too far. Heinz beans and sausage pizza. Beans? Who would make a pizza with the idea that, you know, pizza needs to make people fart more. The only reason you would create this and then buy it is if you like the smell of pizza farts, which disgusts me. I want to know where these are so I know to never go there. And is there any in stock just so I know to never buy them? How many, is there much left in stock? This structural pole my boss refuses to fix. Son, I think your boss is hoping for an insurance claim very, very soon. This is a man who will look at his jawbone being eaten by a tumor and think, ah, oh, it's still structurally sound, it's fine. Oh, you broke your leg? Well, you got another one, haven't you? You can hop around and still do work. Come on, chop, chop. Magingo Island, I'm saying that right? Shut up. A population of 131, only 0. 0.0008 square miles of dirt. What? 
Why would you bother measuring at that point? Oh, wow. Okay, honestly, impressive. Screw everyone's Minecraft Skyblock challenges. They're, these were the real OGs of that sort of thing. I mean, look around. You can still see some scaffolding, too. They are still building things there. This popcorn vessel for June 2. <laughs> oh, God, no. You gotta, you gotta fall. <laughs> oh. There's no way. Someone has... Someone had to know what they were doing. Hey, sweetie, have some of my fresh popcorn. No, no, I'm fine. Thanks, Mom. You sure? It's warm and buttery. Your favorite. No! This power line happened to be laid straight through the skull of an Anglo-Saxon woman buried in a previously undiscovered 6th century graveyard. Damn. I feel there is something symbolic here about modern technology and infrastructure just uh, erasing ancient history like this. But to be fair, I do like Wi-Fi, so pugs skull. Yeah, like I'm not surprised at all. It's basically inbreeding at this point. The cute little pants are literally them struggling to breathe. I <laughs> can't get any simpler than that. You're not taking this grandma's purse, but you are oh so very welcome to try. Coconut crabs are attracted to the smell of food. Hey, hey, Steve. <laughs> yeah, what? I think we have crabs. Oh. Yeah, I don't know, man. There is a certain size threshold with crustacean and uh, creatures with pointy long appendages like this where I feel at some point we have to we just have to justify exterminating them I'm just throwing it out there that's right sometimes racism is okay <laughs> found this clown mannequin half a mile deep into a drainage pipe tied like this to a gate oh get the f <laughs> no man I forget that <laughs> no 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 five mailboxes five raw chicken feet congrats You've been cursed by the local witch. What do these mean? You'll, You'll find, find out. White rice, two types of lentils, and one boiled egg, all stuffed neatly into a gourd and set upon a handkerchief at a country road intersection. Midwest USA. Any idea what this could be for? That's, um... Look, I've had worse lunches. Maybe it's an offering to a nearby eldritch being. Considering how misty is looking around you so far, I would probably start running. So this lizard moves moved into my microwave clock. I guess it's his now. <laughs> it's just chilling in there. I guess he likes the warmth. Let's be real though. I think he's curiously entered his way in there and now cannot get out. So have fun in a few months time when your food starts smelling oddly like burnt lizard. Guy found a glass eye embedded in the rock at a beach. Oh, how does... Ah, uh, I see you, beach eye. Because <laughs> get, get, get it because it's the sea. Um, it's the beach, and it's an eye. I see. Yep. Shopping cart rocketry. If the world was exactly like an MMORPG, this is exactly the kind of gear people would make so they could speed run, gaining sustenance and survivability. I completed the supermarket raid in only two minutes. What's your high score? Broke my ankle this weekend. The X-ray made all the doctors basically say, "What the frick?" Thought I'd share. Okay. Okay, I'm no doctor, but, uh, yeah, I don't think the bones are meant to split in, like, a Y-fork like that. Impressive job. Well done. Rome, yesterday. Ah, uh, those bugs? Or birds? I, wow. Pastors are gonna have a field day with that one. Ah, uh, yes. Exactly what the doctor ordered. Spring leaf kangaroo essence. What's this going to do? Ah, uh, <laughs> well, well, Sonny, you still have the cancer, but hey, you can jump three meters. That's good. I mean, your body's eaten away the rest of your muscles, so you actually can't. But I you mean if you could, you would. <laughs> A rather rural patient came in with new onset seizures. CT reveals small metal pellets in head. Patient states his wife accidentally shot him several years ago while trying to get a raccoon off their property. Oh, no big deal. It's just one or two, three, four, five-ish pellets in the, in the head. More important question for you, sir. Were you certain there was a raccoon? If not, I'd be suddenly questioning all the milkshakes she's been making you. Secret recording device under the break room table at work. Mate, and look, I can see the table too, that that is not a high quality table. This is not a workplace that gives their employees, you know, the best of quality in terms of recuperation. That's incredible. At some point you have to think, okay, if I'm resorting to doing this to ensure my employees do a good job, is there maybe something to do with me that's actually the problem here? My girlfriend sent me this from her doctor's appointment. <laughs> 
Oh, okay. I see what's here. I see what the plan is. The doctors clearly hate dealing with children here. So what better way to deter them than by using fear and trauma? Just every time the receptionist sees some family come in there with their kids. Hi, what? Oh, hey, what's that up there, kids? Whoa, oh, careful. If you see a clown out there, it means you're going to die. I have several questions about these chips. From Kettle Chips, Chaz, Duck Flavor, Jungle Edition. All bodies taste good, no preservatives. 18 plus only. Not in your style? Why not try Chaz Puddiff Flavor? Limited edition means you have a limited chance to get this, just like real life. This one's for the hot ones, so you know, go on, put it back. Be honest with yourself. Took a shower before work today, looks down to grab a bottle of shampoo, and see this. <gasps> Hello there, little guy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. You have a little pervert in your shower. Get it. I'm calling the police. It's a what? You're all what? Holy silent area. Do not talk what you have seen here. Um, uh, what? Call for help. We are all hunters. Uh, what? That mural of the man and woman does not aid this at all. Is she following him? Is he pulling her in? Holy silent area. Clearly there's a religious connotations with this. Why is she wearing heels then? Why is it at the end of what seems to be an alley. Thankfully, uh, we're not alone in trying to figure out what the un-messed up explanation would be here. Ahem, <clears throat> it's in Uganda. It made the rounds on their social media about a week ago. It's a lodge, which is where men take their side chicks or paid chicks to bang and everything should remain hush-hush. They are all hunters here and that everyone is doing the same sneaky link so it should not be talked about out there. The call for help is legit what it means. Just means that's the contact for the place in case you need fresh towels or the shower isn't working. Oh, of course these kind of people would call themselves hunters as if there's like a, a pride about it, a power and a dominance. Like, no, you're cowards. Too afraid to confront your partner about the fact you're not interested in them anymore. But I'm an alpha man, I have needs. What you need is to see someone about your addiction. My sister's train derailed. She just sent me this. Oh yeah, see what you gotta get your sister to do is to go to the start of the train there until a little message pops up. Um, whatever key it tells you to press, press that, it'll flip the train back right up. A guy at JFK was caught trying to smuggle 70 finches inside hair rollers in a duffel bag. That's... Oh, wow. I can't believe people are attempting to play Pal World in real life already. I mean, it took Pokemon decades for them to design Pokemon Go. This looks so exhausting to do, though. I mean, we already have Pal World in real life. Statistically, there's more people playing Pal World today than there ever was. That's a reference to slavery. 18-year-old Mike Tyson's 20-inch neck. How do you even like turn or tilt just far out. This guy's technically only like a couple of years out of high school and looks like this. How do you even strangle him? You can't. You, <laughs> he's literally invulnerable to strangulation. Oh, let me just park my fucking squid. Suction, grip, narrow maneuverability, tentacles for testicular torsion, and a little bottle of juice for it to sip on in case she gets a bit thirsty while I'm out shopping. <laughs> How the frick did that happen? Hong Kong after the storm two days ago. Ooh, I, um, there's no signs of flooding. So you can't argue strong waves. I just feel like there'd be far more debris around the place if Dwayne Johnson really just rolled up here because of the water. I get it, Dwayne. Your Western movies aren't doing so well in China, but this is not the way you deal with it. Okay, fact check. Articles as recent as August 2023 say that he's actually immensely popular in China. Shut up. Okay, I was wrong. Okay, shut up. <laughs> Sometimes people stop in the middle of a conversation to stare at my eye. I wonder why. I swear to God, if this is another weirdly engrossed eye. Oh, you know, no, no, this is, this is fine. This is actually, the more I look at it, the more it kind of freaks me out. On one hand, it kind of looks like a spider. On another hand, a giant eye looking down at the world. But most importantly, and the one that I definitely can't unsee, a studio apartment. No thanks. I'm pretty certain this is true. But unless the lid is closed, poo particles can actually travel travel up to about five or so meters. So that's a fun thought to have while you're washing your dishes. A real good way to encourage you to do whatever you can to add spices to your food, just to, you know, get the flavor and smell in the kitchen to overrule the scent of your recent poop. This SUV broke the sound barrier. You can do that on a, in a car? Like, not, not just like a super fast car, but like an SUV specifically? Again, just look at this and think that a human actually could survive this. And then also find out that it's trying to eat away at your own jawbone. Just, human body, what, what do you want? What do you want? Carbage spotted at local library. 
man, I'm like, there are bins around. It just depresses me, man, that there are people out there who have their houses in this sort of state. This cemetery fire from yesterday looks like a horror movie's climax. Oh no, what have you done? You've triggered the final boss fight. We haven't even finished the side quests. Fiat had a test track on their factory rooftop in 1929. Yo, what? That is freaking awesome. Oh my God. <laughs> I imagine God back in the day would look down at this factory. Yeah, go! From wrong, yeah, oh, this is so cool! More important question, why did they stop this? Why is it no longer a thing? More racetracks on rooftops, please. Tick season is here. Make sure to check every spot. Ooh. Ha ooh. So, uh, they're evolving? Is that is that what we've agreed upon here? Okay. Having a very strong urge to need to brush my teeth now. Daytime in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Locals are describing this as the apocalypse as they witness the largest rainforest fire in history. Okay. Daytime. Requiring people to have their lights on. We're gonna make effort towards this considering it's near the Amazon rainforest, one of the most important forests in the world or are we just not gonna care about it because it's not Australia 2020 and therefore not a western country? In times like this, we need heroes to rise. Naked philanthropists, it seems we require your ingenuity once more. A customer just gave me this cactus flower as a thank you, then told me not to touch it because it will sting me and not to smell it because it smells like rotting flesh. <laughs> I think, I think the customer hates you. <laughs> they knew your position as someone in customer service and they took advantage of it. Avoiding the Karen tactic of being blunt and aggressive and instead hiding their disdain for you through a facade of generosity. I have tentacles under my tongue. Uh, apparently not everyone does. <laughs> I, uh, you sure you're not part dragon? Actually, hang on, give me a sec. No, I'm, I'm normal, human. I'm normal. All good. Someone needs to tell me what the hell the point of these things are, because that, that doesn't look right. Look, I'm not trying to body shame you. I just I think your existence is wrong. A tornado overnight in Thomaston, Georgia, ripped a home off its foundation and put it in the road. If video games have taught me anything, it's that you can drive straight through this and no damage will come to your car. Plus, you'll get a bonus score. I'm a contractor. Bought an abandoned foreclosed home to renovate. This was in the basement bathroom. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I clicked on the image too quickly and it kind of jump scared me. <laughs> I'm using a big monitor. Uh, look, I'm going to be honest with you right now. I'm not looking at the image. I've just, I've, I've clicked away, but I got a, I got a shot of it and it's uncomfortable to look at. So you all enjoy it. I'm going to move on. Stopped because I thought my tire popped, but I'm pretty sure someone tried to murder me. Oh, <laughs> Oh, wow. That's not a decal you'd like to have on your vehicle. I mean, Jesus, that... So it just went straight through, it seems. Damn, man. And, like, that's the driver's seat right there. I think this is one of those God-given signs that you need to move. Clown apartment in Ankara, Turkey. Certainly looks like a lovely, joyful place. There's nothing nightmarishly freaky about this sort of site at nighttime. $5,000 Canadian after someone using the microwave to disinfect it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have fun. <laughs> God. Sorry, I'm just, I'm really imagining the look on someone's face as they've realized what they've done. I pray that it was just a random individual and not someone who worked somewhere. 